Now, after the events we just spoke of, and after the Bolshevik Revolution, with the ousting of the Russian Provisional Government, and the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk that would happen a few months later in 1918, not all the Russians went along with the whole idea of a communist government. And so many forces were actually loyal to the Tsar. And it began what was called the Russian, uh, Russian Civil War. And uh, Lenin put a man by the name of Leon Trotsky. He was a son of a Jewish aristocrat. He was very well educated, one of the most eloquent men in all of the party. It had him form what was going to be called the Red Army, the army of the, the communist army. And they actually would have the Red Army fighting what were called the White Army. Those are the ones who are loyal to the Tsar. And there were many troops who got involved all over the all over the place. The Japanese got involved, the British got involved, the French got involved, the United, even the United States got involved trying to support the Tsar's forces and trying to stop the the communist forces from permanently taking over Russia. And one particular event took place in the tiny, not, not, not the tiny, but the very important town of Zaritsyn. It's on the Volga River in southern Russia. And what happened was there was a big battle in 19, during 1919 between the Bolshevik forces, the, white, the Red Army, and the White Army. And the Reds were actually being led by Joseph Stalin. And Stalin pushed his men to keep fighting even though they, had a, they were about to lose. And he kept pushing and pushing for them to not give up. Even though orders came from Moscow, which was now the new capital, was they moved the capital from Petrograd to Moscow and to re retreat. Stalin would not back down. He kept fighting. And they held up firm, even though Stalin had chose to micromanage his generals and wound up in some ways doing more harm than good by t telling the people how to do their jobs, by interfering, as he would also do much later. And so the casualties were much higher, but it did wind up with a communist victory, which would give, um, give Stalin a great deal of notoriety, and he would rise greatly in the party because of that. And what would happen to is to further pat himself on the back after he was in power. He, in 1925, he would rename the city of Zaritsyn after himself. He would name it Stalin's city, or Stalingrad. Not much more about that for right now, but as you know, Stalingrad will be very, very important 17 years later. More on that way down the road, but there's that bit of information for you. There you go.